Hi, today we are going to look at the most commonly used wizards in QMM Active Directory Processing Wizard and Exchange Processing Wizard We are going to create an Active Directory Processing task We specify the name, we make our selection If we are not sure we will press F1 and we will get some additional explanation Every option is explained in the help file This wizard can be used to repermission Active Directory or to clean up seed history We will leave the default selection and we will select and specify our domain in this case it will be the target domain I can use a different set of credentials or I can leave the currently logged in user credentials we will save the task, we will not execute the task immediately why? you will see once the task has been configured we can go and select the objects we can filter them by migration sessions or by synchronization and we can either select all objects or unselect them all or select only objects by specific of specific type it is a good idea to unselect computers and uh, maybe contacts because usually users and groups have permissions in Active Directory once you made your selection you can close with OK and the wizard will always use this selection We can anytime go and modify the existing task by going to the properties or using the option on the right side, configure task. If for some reason we cannot execute the wizard from the console, uh, for example the firewall is blocking access to Active Directory to the domain controller or domain admins don't allow us, we can create a, a setup task. This task will contain the data which is needed to connect to the Adam database and once this task is finished we will find an executable MSI file Now we can take this file and pass it to domain admins or copy it over to the domain controller and execute the task locally Now we are going to create an exchange processing task We will create a new task, specify the name We will configure and save this task We will make our selection And here we will specify our exchange server name We will need a set of credentials An account which has rights to connect to this exchange server and if the credentials are good the tool will establish a connection to this exchange server and we can make our selection we can select one exchange server or the entire organization and here we can again make our selection people who use the tool for the very first time they tend to go and select some objects public folders, mailboxes this might be not a very good idea because what we want from this wizard we want to select all our users and then we want the wizard to scan the entire exchange server and update all existing permissions we don't want the wizard to select to process one public folder or few specific mailboxes and apply permissions for the users this means we are not going to select this setting and we will proceed we will leave the default settings this means all mailboxes all public folders will be selected by default once the wizard has been created now we can go and make our selection and here it might be a good idea to select only users and groups usually you don't want computer objects or other kind of objects be selected because they definitely don't have any rights in exchange 
at any given moment we can go and modify the existing task modify the properties start stop execute the task or change the configuration we can anytime go and delete our custom map and this will mean all our objects are selected now we can also go and create another task this means task doesn't have any specific value and if the task for some reason doesn't work or you don't like this task or you don't need this task anymore you can anytime go and delete this task we are just going to create another task which is being used to process source domain now we have two tasks at any given moment we can go and delete any of them This was a short overview of the tasks which are shipped with QMM.